Hello friends, my name is Sachin Chowan and you are watching video related to the operating system. Hello friends, in this example we are going to solve a problem of best fit, worst fit and first fit memory allocation algorithm. Okay, but before going to solve this, first let know that why we need this algorithms. So as you know that the memory is given in your system and you are having certain number of processes and for execution of a particular process you have to put a process into the memory. But there are two methods of that. We consider the first partition method here or the fixed partition method here in which method we divide a memory in a fixed size partitions and uh, and there is a processes whose size is given and we put a process into that particular partitions but the question is that how to put particular process in particular partitions so for that particular reference we are having three algorithm that is called as first fit best fit and worst fit algorithms so the first fit algorithm is a very simple algorithm so what we do here to solve this problem we just draw a particular memory structure like this as we know that it's given in your question that there are five partitions of memory that is given in your question so we i divide my memory into five partitions fine the partition size are also given that is 100 kb 500 kb next is 200 kb next is 300 kb okay so sorry for your inconvenience so it's a 300 kb and last one is a 600 kb okay it is given you your question we are just showing the diagrammatic representation and we are having five number of processes sorry four number of processes that is for 212 kb 417 kb 112 kb and 426 kb what i can do here i can put a process numbers here it's just additional you don't need to put a number there so in a first uh, first fit algorithm what we do we try to find out a partition there are five partition and in a first fit algorithm we try to find out the partition from first position to the last positions of memory okay we try to find out a partition whose size is equal to or greater than a particular process okay so here the p1 process having 212 kb party 212 kb size so we are starting from this first partition to the last partition and uh, check a partition size whose value is equal to 212 or it is greater than 212 kb so it's at 100 kb that means we cannot put a p1 process here it's 500 kb okay and the size is 212 which can be 500 kb is greater than your 212 that means p1 process can go into your 500 kb partition okay that is 212 kb fine now it completes its task now second one is 417 to so start from first and to the last find out a partition size first partition find out a first partition whose size is equals to or greater than equals to a process size so 417 cannot fit into 100 cannot fit into 200 cannot fit into 300 but it can fit into 600 that's why your p2 is goes here of 417 fine now next one is p3 start again from up to down 100 kb cannot go there 200 kb yes it can go there so here we can put p3 of 112 fine now next is 426 so 426 cannot fit anywhere that means this 426 that is p4 process cannot go into your memory okay fine thank you okay friends so next one is best fit algorithm and again the question remains same 
and the best way strategy how to apply we can show here this is your memory partitions as it is given in your question that there are five partitions so i have divided the memory into five partitions and that is a fixed size that means we cannot change the partition size and there are four number of processes which we need to put in your memory okay so your best fit algorithm says that allocate the smallest partition allocate the smallest partition that is big enough for a particular process so that means in this best fit algorithm we are putting a process into such partition where the memory loss is very less fine so for this purpose we have to check the memory from start to end again and again and that is very trivial part okay so start from this 212 kb in this 212 kb can fit into 500 can fit into 300 and it can also fit into 600 but best fit algorithm says you have to put a smallest hole okay so 500 300 and 600 whose 300 is the smallest if we put 212 in a 300 the memory loss will be less than this 500 and 600 that's why we are putting this p1 process here so it becomes 212 fine that means p1 here over now again for p2 process check you can put 417 in 500 okay and you can put it into 600 but the memory loss is less in 500 okay so we are going to put this p2 process here that is a 417 fine that means p2 is over now again p3 is process 112 can put here and uh, there is no other partition so we have to put that 112 here so the p3 is allocated into this so 112 fine and last is p4 so p4 426 start to bot bottom 600 is just blank so put here that's p4 process 426 in this way we have completed the best fit okay okay friends the next one is worst fit algorithm and worst fit algorithm is a very critical algorithm as its name indicates the worst that means it is really a worst algorithm so what it does it stacks from start to end and allocate a partition size which is very bigger to the particular process okay that means what exactly it is doing uh, 212 partition it find out a particular partition whose size is extremely highest here it's 600 and give the particular process to that particular partition that means p1 is going to be in a 600 partitions so it's a 212 okay next one is p2 process again it finds the largest partition so here the largest partition is 500 okay and 417 can fit into 500 so it put your p2 process here for 417 okay now again 112 112 can fit here and can fit also here okay but the worst fit algorithm finds the largest partition and largest partition is 300 that means your p3 process is going to be stored here okay so p3 completes and 426 there is no partition size which can fit for this 426 that's why we cannot going to allocate this 426 to any of the partitions okay fine thank you if you like this video please press like and subscribe button thanks for watching